Hi everybody, this is Aarti Selvan from Pass Perspective and um, I am going to talk today about uh, one of the most, one of my most um, favorite tools um, in the practice of living intentionally. Now, journaling is definitely one of my favorite um, uh, contemplative approaches to living intentionally but um, today I'm going to talk about one specific tool that I use um, to live consciously and intentionally on an everyday basis um, so you know it's basically a one-page exploration um, where I talk about I reflect upon uh, my day as it were um, so during during the day any time I have at least you know five or six minutes um, typically I prefer to write um, I typically I prefer to write in the earlier part of the day so um, you know because I have two little kids probably you know early in the morning is not a good idea for me because they get up along with me but um, when I just go to work when I shut off my door and I'm working um, or before I start working probably at around 10 30 or 11 um, I first really sit and um, reflect reflect on um, how my day was so far and how I want it to be I also reflect on my state of being my emotional state of being my physical state of being um, as, as well as this sort of deeper craving that I might have deeper longing that I might have um, during that day so um, typically it is a one page um, creative sort of exploration of where I am right now and um, let me show you a couple of pages from um, from my journal and so this is one of my favorite journals um, you know just empty white pages um, off white pages um, it's, I'm actually not even sure where I bought it from but anyway so this is one of the pages where I explore my day uh, my day uh, at the typically at the start of the day um, here I talk about um, yeah I, so this I start uh, this was at around 12 o'clock in the in the afternoon and I write about uh, what I'm grateful for um, typically I write about what I'm grateful for it could be uh, about yesterday the earlier day if I'm writing early in the morning if I'm contemplating this early in the morning I talk about what I'm grateful for the previous day and in the right now so what I'm grateful for and then I talk about what how was yesterday um, it really kind of helps me ground myself to where I was and where I am right now when I talk about my day in general in real brief you know I talk about um, I typically don't talk about sort of I did this I did this I did this instead i speak about this experience of the day so how did it feel for me how what did i do that made me feel a certain way and how did people around me feel so it's a very experiential sort of writing about the day itself rather than you know i did this i did this i cooked this i cooked this so um so i write a little bit about how i how i was yesterday and then one of the most important things for me is this the emotions i will keep in check so um so you know um a life of rush is is uh, a life of rush typically kind of overwhelms you and you end up feeling several emotions S some of them extremely hurtful for ourselves and and people who live with us so i find it very important to kind of look into my emotions on an everyday basis and and bring to awareness some emotions i would like to become more aware of as well as um, keep in check um, so emotions like anger annoyance you know those are some those are emotions that kind of quickly and rapidly come forth to the surface at least for me so when i 
consciously write about keeping my anger and my annoyance in check um just when the anger is bubbling up i'm able to become conscious of it so that is a little um awareness piece that i put in in my uh in my journaling on that day and then i also write about how do i want to feel today and what i will do to feel this so how do i want to feel today and what i will do to feel this and then a little sort of brief of you know things i'd like to get done today um just you know go to the gym um write a blog post see a client those kinds of things that i just have to finish on that day um and then there is the space that is left um where i typically explore um a dominant feeling i might be having about something that is kind of triggering off a certain emotion so here i'm writing about any long term dreams i want to check in about slash feel anxious about so um i write in that do i have any long term dreams i'm feeling anxious about because i feel like um so this particular journaling i was i had been feeling a little antsy about something and i knew what it was about but i was not allowing myself to explore it so here i talk about that i give voice to that emotion so that's it so this is one sort of journal write up where i talk about where i um i th- I, i believe that it's a contemplative way to um live intentionally on my day because i'm setting up um the intention to you know keep a certain emotion in check and setting up an intention to be aware of um where i am right now based on what i did yesterday what i'm going to do in the future today and and things that happened well for me as well as things that did happen well for me um i also typically write down one feeling i would like to sort of bring into um uh, conscious awareness during that day so in this um on this day it was trust um and i i have other emotions too that i kind of um contemplate on so on this day it was three different things i wanted to be aware of you know pause connect and soften so i typically do have a space in my journal where i talk about the emotion i would like to be consciously aware of um so so that's that's just one uh one aspect of um you know intentional living on a daily basis that i love to sort of pursue uh on an everyday basis um sometimes i do it every day of the week sometimes i do it once a week um but uh, but for starters i really recommend a practice like this to to start um on an everyday basis i am going to um you know draw up draw out uh, um an everyday intentional living planner for you that you can download and use in your everyday life as a starter to um begin to live intentionally on a day to day basis um once you start this and do it for a week you will um intuitively develop your own questions that you want to add in your journal in order to help you live more intentionally in your life that day so um that's it for now one um uh, one tool um that will help you live intentionally in your everyday basis uh, everyday life i hope that it helps you and i hope that you will download it thank you so much for watching i will see you sometime again bye bye